Hello everyone, my name is Yang Zhang. In this video, I'm going to talk about our ICML paper on unsupervised speech decomposition via triple information bottleneck. Talking about speech, many of you would agree that the primary goal of speech is to convey the language content, which, in most languages, can be transcribed to text. However, speech contains much more information than just the text transcriptions. In fact, if we represent the entire information in speech as a bar, then such information can be decomposed into the following major blocks. The first block is, of course, the content block. The second block is timbre, which characterizes how the speaker's voice sounds like. The third block is pitch, which is an important component of a speaker's intonation. Finally, the fourth block is rhythm, which characterizes how fast the speaker speaks. For many years, people have been trying to decompose speech into these four components, which is useful in many speech analysis and synthesis tasks. For example, voice conversion essentially removes the timbre block from the source speech and replaces it with that from the target speaker. Here is a voice conversion example produced by a benchmark algorithm out of VC. Here is the source speech. Please call Stella. Here is the target speech. Please call Stella. Here is the converted speech. Please call Stella. As you can hear, it does a fairly decent job of converting timbre. However, you will probably notice that only the timbre aspect is changed, and the rest of the aspects are exactly the same as the source speech. In fact, people have been trying to disentangle the rest of the aspects, but it turns out to be a very challenging task, unless one also has access to the text transcription label. This is because the text transcription provides a label for the content information so that it can be identified and separated from the rest of the information. Without such labels, the decomposition becomes an ill-defined problem. However, we would like to avoid using text transcriptions because for many languages in the world, obtaining the text transcriptions is expensive and difficult. So here comes our research question. Is it possible to disentangle speech without relying on text transcriptions? The answer is yes, as we have proposed speech split, an unsupervised speech decomposition algorithm that does not rely on text transcriptions. As a quick overview of the speech split highlights, here is the link to our demo web page, where you can find an animated illustration of the mechanism of speech split. As a high-level summary, speech split consists of three autoencoding channels with intricately designed bottlenecks, such that each channel only passes one unique block, and thereby disentangling all the four information components. Because of this, speech split is among the first unsupervised algorithms that can convert not only timbre, but also pitch and rhythm separately. As an example, here is a source speech. Five thick slabs of blue cheese. This is a male voice at a slow pace and has a steady tone in the last word cheese. Here is the target speech. Five thick slabs of blue cheese. As you can hear, it utters the same content but is totally different in any other aspects. It has a female voice at a faster pace and has a dropping tone in the last word cheese. Now, if I check the rhythm aspect to be converted, we can see that the length of the spectrogram is shortened and aligns well with the target speech. If I play it, five thick slabs of blue cheese, we can hear that everything else remains the same as the source speech. Similarly, if I only convert pitch, five thick slabs of blue cheese, the last word cheese is changed to a dropping tone but everything else is the same as the source. Finally, if I check all the three aspects, the converted speech will sound very similar to the target speech. 
Five thick slabs of blue cheese. Five thick slabs of blue cheese. Know that this is done without relying on any text transcription labels. Here is a more detailed introduction of the speech split algorithm. Speech split consists of three encoders and one decoder. The goal of the decoder is to reconstruct speech based on the outputs of the encoders as well as the speaker identity label. Here, we assume that the speaker ID contains equivalent information to timbre because different people have different characteristic voices. Hence, we use the same block pattern as the timbre component to represent the speaker ID information. The three encoders are called the rhythm encoder, the content encoder, and the pitch encoder. Notice that there is a great tip at each encoder. This is to emphasize that we impose a stringent bottleneck at the output of each encoder so that none of them can pass too much information. As we will show, these bottlenecks are the key to the success of speech split. The three encoders are almost the same except for two differences. First, the input to the rhythm and content encoders is speech, but the input to the pitch encoder is the pitch contour. Pitch contour is the pitch frequency as a function of time, and it shows the length of each voice segment. So it contains both pitch and rhythm information. Hence, we use the rhythm block and the pitch block to denote the information in the pitch contour. Note that the rhythm block is missing a corner because the pitch contour does not contain all the rhythm information. The second difference among the encoders is that there is a random resampling module before the input to the content encoder and the pitch encoder, but not before the rhythm encoder. The random resampling operation first randomly splits the input signal into segments and then randomly stretches or squeezes each segment before piecing them together. So we can see that the purpose of this operation is to disrupt the time information, and thus the output signals all have a contaminated rhythm block, while the other information remains intact. You may start to wonder why this structure can achieve the blind decomposition of different speech components. So let me provide an intuitive explanation. The basic idea is that the encoders need to pass all the blocks to achieve perfect reconstruction, but they cannot pass too many blocks due to the bottleneck, so they have to do it smartly. If we take a look at all the inputs, we can notice that only the rhythm encoder has access to a complete rhythm block. The other rhythm blocks all have some holes in them. Meanwhile, the other information can be supplied elsewhere. Therefore, the rhythm encoder will pass only the rhythm information if the bottleneck is binding. Similarly, given the fact that the rhythm encoder only passes the rhythm block, the content encoder becomes the only encoder that can supply the content block, and the rest of the information can be supplied elsewhere. Therefore, the content encoder will pass only the content information if the bottleneck is binding. Finally, the pitch encoder becomes the only encoder that can supply the pitch information, and thus it will pass only the pitch block. To sum up, given the appropriate bottleneck constraints, this arrangement is the only way to achieve perfect reconstruction, hence forcing the disentanglement of all these blocks. To evaluate whether speech split really works as expected, we perform several experiments. The first one is the aspect-specific conversion that we have shown on our demo webpage. If you haven't already, we would like to welcome you to check out our demo webpage. We also perform a subject evaluation on Amazon Mechanical Turk, where the subjects are asked whether each of the aspects is more similar to the source or the target. These bar plots show the conversion rates, which is the percentage of the responses that choose the target. As can be seen, all the conversion have high conversion rates for the aspects that are converted and low for the rest. For example, if we only convert the rhythm, only the rhythm aspect has a high conversion rate. For the second experiment, we would like to see what happens 
if we set each of the four aspects to zero. Here is the original speech, and here is a speech with one aspect removed. In particular, if the content is removed, the output becomes a set of slots with no informative spectral shape, and the slots are perfectly aligned with the original speech. This suggests that speech split may perform a fill-in-the-blank operation, where the rhythm encoder provides some empty blanks, and the content encoder provides the content to fill in the blanks. This hypothesis can also explain why the speech becomes empty when the rhythm is removed. This is because there are no blanks to fill, even though the other information is available. Next, when the pitch is removed, the output pitch becomes constant, as indicated by the harmonics. When the timbre is removed, the performance will shift a little, indicating the voice has changed. That is all for our introduction. Here is the final takeaway. Speech disentanglement has been challenging without text transcriptions. However, with a set of carefully designed bottlenecks, speech split can achieve unsupervised speech decomposition and therefore can perform aspect-specific conversions. For further information, please also refer to our paper. Thank you.